Today, we're looking under the hood of the 12 week reef and we're discussing life support, filtration and plumbing. Let's go. The 12 week reef is taking shape and it's already week number three. Things are really getting real now. But first, let's discuss filtration. Really similar to freshwater aquariums, there are three filtration components in saltwater aquariums and they are mechanical filtration. Water is forced through a filter sock or filter wall and in more recent times, something called a roller mat. All of these methods, they remove the larger floating debris and are vitally important for your water clarity and removing the large pollutants in your tank before they break down into the waste nutrients. The second thing is chemical filtration. Products such as carbon, they remove your excess organics, toxins, and even metals in your aquarium water by trapping the microscopic particles in its pores. In a reef tank, chemical filtration also includes the removal of your excess nitrates and phosphates. To remove phosphates, we use a product called GFO, granular ferric oxide. Much more on that later. And the last form of filtration, biological filtration. There's a multitude of biological filtration options and you can never have too much. The more porous the material you use, the better. The huge surface area enables beneficial bacteria to multiply and break down into waste. That's the nitrogen cycle actually working. So here's a few choices. You can choose bioblocks, which we're gonna go with, small beneficial bacteria factories that have literally like football sized fields of biological surface area for an endless supply of good bacteria to grow. The second thing is Marco rocks. What we built this out of, we add that with sand and that helps tremendously. Similar to BioBlox, both of those two things contain a huge amount of biological surface area for all that good beneficial bacteria to actually grow. Now, let's take a look under the hood. This is what's called a sump and it's where the life support system for this entire tank lives. And this is how it works. Water falls from this main display tank through these little grates that we call an overflow. It then flows down through our mechanical filtration first, where the bigger pieces of algae and gunk get trapped by our filter socks. Next chamber is the protein skimmer and optional refugium section, which further helps remove the nutrients. From here, the water then flows into the next chamber, which is where your biological filtration lives. This is your media and your carbon. And that's taking care of your biological and chemical filtration. Going into the next section, your heaters live in this sump as well. Pro tip, always install two heaters as a fail safe. If one was to suddenly fail one day, the other one kicks in and saves the day. Yay! Finally, we move into the last section, which is where your return pump lives. This pump pushes the water all the way back up through here and finally back into your new tank. On the way back up to the main display, we can take a look at this manifold system here. And this is where you can easily direct the water flow to future pieces of equipment. But what else could we possibly need? Now, hmm. depending on where you live in the summer months, you're definitely gonna need a chiller and that's to cool your water down. And down the track, we can also look at installing a UV sterilizer for an even cleaner display and to help get rid of parasites. All right, now let's continue onto the tank. Now, inside the tank, we have got a really cool piece of tech and that's called a wave maker. 10 points to whoever guesses what it does. That's right, it creates waves and flow, which is the lifeblood of your aquarium. All right, so you've seen the equipment that we'll be using. We've just positioned them in dry before we wet the tank. So it's much easier to show you. But I can't help but think something is missing here. Hey, you're the aquarium guy from TikTok, right, Brady? That's me, yeah. Um, Anthony from Dalawa. Yeah, it's pronounced Dalawa, but that's that's all good. What uh, brings you here? Uh, well, I just started my first ever saltwater reef tank. So I've come in store to pick up what's next, really. Cool, so you need some new equipment, some new reef tech. Yeah, awesome. Uh, you wanna go shopping? Yeah, that sounds great. Let's get, let's take a walk. Skimmer, return pump, wave maker, dosing pump, lighting, cow, out, mag, vitamins, carbon. Got it, is that everything?
Cool. Oh yeah. All right. Let's get this set up. So we just went shopping. We've got all the bits and pieces necessary. We've got a protein skimmer, return pump, wave maker, lighting, dosing pump. Correct. All sorts of chemicals down there. Don't get too confused. We'll talk you through everything. But first, let's set up the protein skimmer. Knife. Let's open the protein skimmer. Have you ever opened one of these before or used a protein skimmer? Before? Never. I've opened boxes before, if that counts. <laughs> That's super like techy almost. It's like a filter, it's a big filter. Mixed with an Artemia blender. That's how it looks at least. Open the lid there. Pull it out there. Remove the cap. Cool, so that is called a bubble dispersion plate. It will disperse the bubbles. Ah, uh, yeah. I could have guessed that one. Duh. Yeah. So this is the pump. It's just a normal water pump, but protein skimmers, instead of a normal impeller inside, they do have an impeller, but also have a something called a needle wheel attached to the impeller. Yep. And that chops the air up into a million pieces, creating millions of tiny bubbles in the chamber. Those bubbles coalesce and hold on to proteins in the water and eventually find their way up over the cup and gets removed from the water column, stays in the cup, and then you can just empty the cup every few days, every week. So does it get gross looking? Does it get dirty? It's it gross looking, it gets smelly looking, it gets everything. That is how you set up the Great White Protein Skimmer. You just need to put on the cup now. You need to line up the teeth with the teeth here. And then you go clockwise to lock. So it's not really like a freshwater filter, because I just, Crank that up to max, and as long as it's not a yeah, chilled not, out tank. It's not really about water flow, it's more about air water balance. Gotcha, okay. So there's no... There's some more finesse to it. There is more <laughs> finesse, and there's no silver bullet. Okay. Every, like, we get questions all the time, how do I tune my protein skimmer? Yeah. Or how do you tune a protein skimmer? The perfect tune is very specific to every tank, and that's what you need to find the balance. And as you put your hands in the tank, and as the tank matures, that's gonna change. And then when you have a mature tank, that's when you know you can set and forget. Okay. But that is one of the most important parts of a reef tank. It's not 100% necessary. Lots of reefers do tanks without skimmers, but that's a very, very high minority because it's oh. an inexpensive item, adds oxygen, removes all sorts of waste. Yeah, it's a no-brainer to use. Wave maker does what it says, creates waves within your aquarium. Yep. It is installed in the main display, not the sump. That's all it is. This is a smaller size for a smaller aquarium. What waves do for corals is almost like what wind does in a forest for trees. It, it's cleansing, your tank needs fresh air. Right, yep. It's like a, a, a hit of fresh air. Um, it also expels CO2 when it breaks the surface of the aquarium as well. Very, 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 very important. Flow is king in so any aquarium. Can't have a reef tank without a wave maker. You need it. So this is the smallest one. This is the baby. You can see it goes up to 25,000 liters per hour. Yes. And that one's just 6,000. Yes, exactly. They get chunky. They can get big, yeah, definitely. Oh. And this is a um, little pocket rocket for a pocket rocket aquarium. Yeah, well, we can play. We well, probably want it closer to the middle. But again, this is something you decide once corals are in the aquarium and you can see how they react to the flow. And then you get the magnet. Nice. And we have the great white return pump now. Now this carries your aquarium water from the sump back up to the main display. Yeah, that's why it's so heavy duty. Yeah, yep. And that's it's exactly right. the same pump that's in the great white protein skimmer but this is pumping water not air there are your bits and pieces pipe uh, connections it also has the same controller that is used with the great white skimmer so you have all your feed modes wave modes and flow settings constant pulse gyre gyration yeah perfect every tank's different but i've got steve here to help me plumb this one let's do it Hey Brady, so first thing I do is I lay the plumbing out on the floor. 
power. <laughs> Bombing's done. Let's put that return pump on. Yeah. Yay. All right, do I need any other attachment for it? So, the great white, this here, I'll take that back off. It's not going to fit. Fortunately, the great white comes with a lot of different things. So, look in the box for one that's going to fit this. That's the one. One, two, three, four. There's some little rubber feet in the box. Let's put those on because we don't want it rattling around on the bottom of the glass. Very important. Got to wear your shoes. There it is there. There's more than yeah, yeah, yeah. ah, There's like eight shoes here. The good Lord Anthony saw fit to include spares in his product. Because I probably because I complained that it didn't have spares. So. It's true. He complains. <laughs> and then onto there. Okay, all done. Now we're almost ready to fill her up in the next video, but first we hope and pray to the fish gods that we plumbed it just right the first time, just like the pros, and it doesn't spring a leak. We're gonna recap week three. What we've done is we've learned about all methods of filtration. We saw the range of equipment that we'll be using, and we plumbed our return pump, which wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Now, week four, we actually get the 12 week reef is, is the hands okay like this? Like while we're talking, like this is good? Or do you want this? NPC. Hey, are you Brady? Hey, you're Brady from the... No, oh, wrong company. <laughs> you want to go shopping? Yes, that's exactly what I want. Let's go. Cool. Oh, Why? It's the last set. Why do you 